hey my loves welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have y'all here today it's all about the face today you guys so if you're ready let's hop right into it i'm starting off with my wet n wild ultimate brow kit and i'm going to be very generous with the wax and using it to get my brows into place and i love what this did for my eyebrows especially for the filling in process because the powder from the kit stuck so well to my brows the pigment was amazing and i've never been this generous with it so i will keep doing this from now on and once my brows are all into place, I'm going to get a tissue and just make sure I get the excess wax off from the perimeter of my brows so that the powder and the rest of the makeup for this look does not stick. I'm starting from the tail, working my way toward the head of my eyebrow when I fill it in. I'm using the lighter brown shade in the kit to do so. And I'm just using an ombre effect, so to speak, starting from the tail, working my way inward as I add the powder and build up that pigment that I want to my liking. I definitely like it darker at the end and lighter at the head. And then I'll just use my brush to blend it in and do the same thing on my other brow. I'm using a lighter shade concealer to go ahead and define my brow and to brighten it up a little bit. Then I'll drag that concealer down to my eyelid to prep my eyelid for eyeshadow. Once my eyelids are nice and blended with my beauty blender, I'm going to get my banana powder and set my lids and underneath my brow with that powder. Using a concealer that's closer to my skin tone, I'm going to define the top of my brow and blend that in very well as well. For my foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever HD Skin today. I shook it up real good as the instructions directed. And I just pumped a little bit on my hand to begin because this foundation is buildable. And I do like a light coverage. So I just started off with minimal amount. And once it's all spread out on my face, I will blend, blend, blend. Any spaces on my face that I feel could use more foundation, I'll add some more and continue to blend. This foundation was giving skin, y'all. It's called HD Skin for a reason, and I was loving it. As for contouring, I'm using my e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette with the second to lightest shade. And I'm just going to go in and contour the usual areas and blend those babies in with my Wet Beauty Blender. Is what I need. 
hopping right back into that concealer closer to my skin tone i'm going to conceal under my eyes my nose my forehead my chin y'all know so i'm going to conceal all of that and i will blend away I wanted to try something different today so I went back in in that lighter concealer I have and tried to use it and brighten up my under eyes. Let me know in the comments if you guys see a difference. The next step I took was to set my face and I did this mistakenly because i was switching up my order in which i was doing my makeup today so it kind of threw everything off but immediately i realized i didn't use my powder products before setting so i went back in added my setting powder and just kept doing my makeup as usual because i couldn't take it back y'all but next time i will definitely apply all my powders being my setting powder my bronzer my blush and all that before i set <laughs> I am revisiting this Pure Magic Eyeshadow Palette by Koki Professional. I'm going to use this brown shade as my transition color and just build on that until I'm ready to apply the next one. To deepen up my crease a little bit, I'm going to use the Chocolates by Juvia's Place palette. And I'm popping in this beautiful brown color, like I said, just to deepen up my crease and just have a better color payoff for the look I'm going for. Now, if you read the title, you probably know what color is next. I'm going to use this blue shade called Bewitch in the Koki Professional Palette. And I'm going to add that just beneath my crease, in the crease. I'm not sure how you want to describe it, but I've been applying my transition color a little bit higher lately. Just to give my eye a bigger effect and just really show off my eyeshadow. So yeah, I'm gonna put that in just beneath the brown and blend it in very well. Just as I did with the transition color, once I'm done blending the two together, I'm going to get my blending brush and just blend out that line a little bit more. I'm going to go in with this skinny brush and my lighter concealer to achieve my cut crease. And I'm going to start right where my eyelid naturally creases and slowly bring it just above the crease. And when I'm ready, I'll fill it in further and I'll create my desired look at the tail end of my crease because you can do a couple different styles with this. But today I went for a very basic cut crease look. So you'll see exactly what I'm doing.
once i'm satisfied with the cut crease that i created i'll let it dry for a little bit then i'll get my beauty blender and just blend down that concealer that i added to the lid itself i'm very careful not to blend the crease because we want that to stay as crisp as possible but yeah then i'll work my way toward the end and blend the remainder of the concealer into the eyeshadow just beneath it Anywhere I put concealer, I'm sure to set it. So I'm just going to set my eyelids to prepare them for the color that I'm going to put on top, which is the poof shade. It's more like a bone color. And yeah, I'm going to add that right on top of the concealer for my cut crease. Just to add a little bit more depth to this little look, I'm going to use this blue shade in the Wet n Wild palette that is similar to the blue I used for my crease, except this has a little bit of shimmer added to it. So I was excited to use it. I popped it right at the end of the cut crease and I blended it right into the blue beneath it. And this color, I definitely had to build onto it because the pigment wasn't really trying to show so you'll see me adding a little bit more and then a little bit more and blending it in to my liking this is what my eyes are looking like at this point and i'm gonna move on and add the same transition shade to my under eye and then i will go into the juvia's place palette and add that deeper brown underneath my eye as well For a little bit of brightening, I'm going to go into this Wet n Wild palette and use this eggshell shade and add it to my inner corner and I also used it as a highlight. This is certainly something that pertains to my mood and so it is optional but I wanted my eyeshadow to look a little bit more sharp so I'm adding my concealer in the way that you see then I'm going to blend it out and add some powder to set it before I move on to my bronzer. I'm using Bronze Please by L'Oreal Paris, but before I do bronze, I'm gonna make sure that I put some foundation on my forehead where my scarf was covering, cause hello. But yeah, so I did bronze my usual areas, but I could tell it wasn't blending as usual because I set my face too soon. So yeah, just FYI. My look is not complete without blush, but today I'm going to use the Koki Professional Sunlit Peach Bronzer as my blush. I 
I decided to highlight as one of my last steps. So as I mentioned, I used that eggshell shimmery shade in my Wet n Wild palette. I'm gonna set for the last time and move on to my lashes. I'm using the Kiss brand in the shape Brazier, and I like to put the glue on my eyelash first, add some more glue to the lash, and once I give it a few minutes, not even honestly, like 30 seconds, I stick the lash on and I'm ready to go. So that's how I do it. I did the other one off camera, but let's see what these lashes are looking like. last but certainly one of my favorite parts is the lips this is the pencil i'm going to use it's in the shade light brown and i initially bought it for my brows but it is too light for my eyebrow color so today for the first time i said you know what let me use it for my lips and i actually love the color against my skin you guys so i'm lining with that and then I have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Lip Shine Lip Gloss, and it's in the color Truffle. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this limp combination, because I am still trying to find the combo for me, quote unquote, but I was digging it. So stay tuned, and when I'm all ready, let's see how I look. All right, babies, my makeup is all done. And I don't know if you could tell, but I'm feeling myself. Like, I need to go somewhere pronto. So I'm gonna figure out exactly where I'm about to go. In the meantime, let me know what you guys think of this look, okay? How did I do? And let me know what you guys wanna see next. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. And you already know, if you wanna see more from me, because I got more for you. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.